In today's lesson, we're going to look at arrays and how to remove an element from an array. And this is a part of the grade 12 CAPS RT syllabus. Now, when we remove an element from an array, there are steps that we have to take. And just to recall from when we did the inserting element into an array, there were two scenarios. There was one when it was sorted and one when it was unsorted the array that is. Now in this case we don't have to worry about that. All we have to do is find the position of the element to remove. So we could either ask the user for to give us what position we want to remove from the array, not the value, the position. So we want to, if you've got an array of six items, we want to take that third item and remove it. The other scenario is they could ask you to remove an element based on its value. If that was the case then you would have to search through the array to find its position. And in that case, then it is slightly different if it's sorted or not, because if it was sorted, then you could use a binary search to find its position, or if it was unsorted, you could use a linear search to find its position. In this case, I'm simply going to ask for the position to make my life easier, um, but uh, the rest of it will follow on exactly if it was asking for the value. You would just need to use one of the searches first. So we ask for the position, or we find the position of the element to remove, then we will move each element from one after it forward one position. In other words, if we are taking position 3 and we want to remove position 3, we are going to take whatever is in position 4 and move it forward to position 3. We can take whatever is in position 5 and move it forward to position 4, and so on and so on. Obviously, when we get to the very last one, we're not going to move position 7 into position 6, because otherwise there's going to be nothing in that position 7 if our array was, for example, from 1 to 6. So we have to go till 1 before the end of the, uh, the counter of the variable. And we're going to, as I said, go to the end of the array. Obviously, we're going to go one before the end of the array because we obviously don't want that last element, which got nothing in it, to move forward into the random position of the last value. And then at the end, we are going to decrease our array counter because we are removing an element from the array, which means that we have one less element in our array. So let's look at it visually. We've got an array over here. As you can see, there are six elements. And we want to remove element or the, the element in position 3. So that 55, we wanted to get rid of it. And we don't want it to just be a blank spot. We want to shift everything after it up into to fill the gaps. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start with the position after position 3. We're going to look at number 4. You see it's a 23. We're going to take that 23 and we're going to put it into the third position in the array. We're then going to move up another one. We're going to take position 5. See that 12? We're going to put that into position 4. And then that's position 6, that's 70. We're going to move it into position 5. We don't continue till, till the right to the end of the array. We don't take position 7 and shift it into position 6 because we don't, obviously we don't know what's in there. And we don't need it. It's not a part of our array. And you might see that we're not going to do anything to the last position, the position 6. Although it's got like a 70 in it, we are removing an element from the array. So when we had six elements, we now only have five. So we've got an array counter, which I'm going to decrease from six to five. So even though that 70 stays there, when we use an, an, a loop to go through the array or we traverse the array, we always go from one till the array counter. And because the array counter decreased by one, it will still be accurate, even though we've left that last value right at the end. Now let's look at the code. Over here we've got an array of tennis player names and we are going to click on what position we want to remove and then we click on the remove and that person's name will be removed from the array and we will display the results. Now just a little advice about tennis players, you should never marry them because apparently love means nothing to them. Do you get it? 40 love? Okay, terrible joke, let's go back to the code. So let's look at our array first of all. We're going to go right to the top, and as you can see, we've got a global array called Array Tennis, which can take 20 elements, but we're never sure if we're going to fill it or not. So that's why we've got this count variable, which will tell us exactly how many elements are actually in the array. Now, if we go to the code for the removal, we are going to find the position of the of the in the array that we want to remove which we get from the spin edit um, as i said before if you're not using the position if you want to remove a particular value you would have to search for it and then you would do the rest of the code exactly like it is 
we will then move from that position until count minus 1. Remember I explained with the diagram that we don't want the last value that doesn't exist to move to the last value. We just go to count minus 1. And we are basically moving forward the value, for, so for example, whatever is in position 3 will now be whatever was in position 4. So number 4's value shifts to position 3. Number 5's value shifts to position 4. So everything moves forward. And once it's done that from the position that we want to start till the end of the array, we then decrease the counter, the, the array counter by one because we've removed an element. So there should be one less element in our array. This code over here is simply to display the array so we can see the results to see if it's worked. Let's have a look, see if it works. So let's run the program. Here is my list of members in the array. Now, if I want to remove an element, let's say position 4, then all of these values must shift up 1. There should be 7 elements at the end, and all of these should shift up 1. And there we go, they did shift up. If I moved 4 again, then the new value in position 4 would be removed. But let's change, let's mix it up a bit, let's change position 2. And it's gone. What happens if we use a value that doesn't exist? Well, it will simply go and remove the last element of the array. And it will keep on and if we can we can actually just use this to keep on removing elements so i can click remove number three remove number three remove number three and there we go we can see it works it's removing the elements in the array and shifting everything up even if it is the last value so to recap you need to get the position of the element in the array that you want to remove either by asking the user for that position or by searching for it then we are going to take from that position until the, the second last element in the array and sh move everything forward, shift everything from position 4 into 3, from 5 into 4, and so on. And once we've done all of that, we then decrease the counting variable for the array. And it's literally that simple. For more uh, videos on arrays, as well as examples on arrays, as well as other RT and CAT concepts, please go to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe like all our videos tell us what you like tell us what you don't like so we can improve on them we'd love to hear from you and also follow us on twitter so you, we can keep you up to date whenever we add new videos and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way the examples from today's video come from the grade 12 delphi e-notes from study opportunities these e-notes are available in 2014 from 2015 there'll be a textbook available for the grade 12 rt caps syllabus if your teacher is interested in getting these textbooks then they can go to the website to get more details